Uh, Kosovo is a mysterious country in the Balkan and its status is still disputed but as you go around the city you will feel the warm and authenticity of the city. It is considered to be the youngest country in Europe. Kosovo was part of Yugoslavia and later Serbia. The city of Pristina is well known for its historic monument and architectural beauty and these are the things that you can enjoy here in Pristina. Kosovo, this is actually my 106th country and we're going to explore later what Kosovo can offer to the traveler and to the rest of the world. Let's check it out later. Luckily, upon entering the immigration, there is no question asked and we are so hungry. Right after the arrival, there is a KFC. We decided to have our dinner here as we don't have KFC in Norway. Our hotel name is Payton Hotel. It is actually a four-star hotel located in the heart of the city. Situated 500 meters from the newborn monument in Pristina and most of the tourist attraction is just around the corner. And what a sweet gesture of the hotel management for their birthday note. The rooms are decorated in a classic style and all are air-conditioned. A flat screen TV with cable channel is available. Each comes with a bathroom, with a shower, and a hair dryer. Free Wi-Fi is offered throughout the property. And the best thing about the hotel is the view of the city center in the balcony. What a better way to start our adventure with a view. Time is 8 o'clock in the evening. The best way to explore and appreciate the country is always by knowing more about their rich culture and heritage. That's why the first thing that we are going to do in Pristina is to visit one of the most iconic personalities in Christianity and the whole world as well. We are on our way to the famous personality in Kosovo and in Christianity in general. Her name is Mother Teresa. Walking time is about 10 to 15 minutes going to her statue from our hotel. It warms my heart to think that she is remembered so fondly and right in the middle of the pedestrian walking area for thousand to see. This statue isn't the most amazing statues I've ever seen, but of its that high significance. The statue of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She is well known all around the world because of her good deeds and good work. She traveled all around the world just to spread the good news and tidings of our Lord. Happy birthday. 
So after the Salubong party, we decided to go to the most expensive club in Kosovo. We paid 30 euros for the entrance and which is a lot for a country where the official minimum wage is 130 euros per month. Each beer and whiskey cost 4 euros and a bottle of vodka which we ordered to celebrate my birthday party cost 150 euros which is so massive expensive. From what I was told, most visitors are family of politicians and people who work for the state and this is the place for richest and powerful person in Kosovo. The facilities on the other hand are amazing. The DJs are good, the music is excellent, the space is huge, the girls are beautiful, guests are well-mannered and locals are accommodating. So if you're in and something for everyone so whether if you're looking for a place to have a few drinks dance the night away or just people watch you'll find it in pristina so no matter what your interests are you're sure you'll find something to do in pristina's nightlife scene so head out and explore and be wasted <laughs> Uh, look at Kosovo. It is really a free country. You can do whatever you want here. Waking up after massive partying all over, we decided to have our breakfast in Kentucky Fried Chicken and planned to go to the tourist spot as our itinerary. I've always heard from the locals from last night to go to Bill Clinton Monument and let's check it out. Uh, for me, the greatest attraction is the Bill Clinton statue. The US president was one of the staunchest supporters of NATO intervention of Serbia. As a consequence, the people of Kosovo are fond of his presidency and himself as a person for that reason. He has a statue here and the statue is just right there and a massive banner in the city center. Kosovo are like America and especially the politicians that helped them gain the independence. The memorial or this place is really nice with an American flag. It feels like you are in America for that reason. Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning news. Doesn't work no more but tells a lot of stories about her youth. Drinks more lately and that pills many different colors too. Morning light is showing she moves the chair to look out at her view. But her shop was born. So if we are going to base our perspective long time ago, the first impression about Kosovo is all about war and devastation. So let's forget first all about the images of war. I am standing here in Pristina looking to all these beautiful places and I must say it is a vibrant and friendly state full of rewarding experiences for independent travelers just like me. The location here is a mix of Albanians. Roma, Ashkali, and also Serbs. Going to our next destination, we are going to visit the tallest building here in Pristina, Kosovo, and the home of St. Mother Teresa. In 2007, the government of Kosovo approved the plans of building this cathedral. The cathedral is also expected to help the economy of Kosovo, one of the poorest countries in Europe. The cathedral best feature is the terrace on the bell tower. So while the building is open to the public, remember it's still a religious site, pay respect and pray before entering the cathedral. We are so fortunate to meet some Filipinos inside the cathedral and invited us to have some tea. They said they have 20 Filipinos living and working here in Pristina and their life stories are touching. When it comes to the top things to see in Pristina, the National Library is up there. Nevertheless, its collection of over 1.8 million books, journal, pictures, and digital resources make it one of the top places to visit in Kosovo. This is the National Library of Kosovo. The architecture and the design is really unique. There are various Ottoman mosques in the city which are undoubtedly among the best places to visit in Pristina. Most of the mosques are in the old Turkish area near the Kosovo Museum and they are strikingly beautiful and stunning. <laughs> Ano <laughs> ba
Uh, for my birthday, I really wanted to have a quiet posh experiences with wine, salad, and an old age beef steak or entrecote on charcoal. Of course, with elegant and top service. We ordered the local Kosovar wine and it was really good. For starter, we ordered the Greek salad with a lot of cheese. Followed by our main dish, our waiter suggested the 100 years old dry beef steak, entrecote, New York steak, and I must say it was full of flavor and served with baked potato and stir fried vegetables. The steaks we ordered were served with a touch of theatricality and if you wanted to meet the local salt bay of Kosovo you can find it here in the restaurant. Our waiter is very much into his slicing and seasoning and he usually told the stories about the beef and also the history of the restaurant and it was really a good meal with top service and we cheers for that. You need to sing, you need to sing. <laughs> to you, happy birthday. Night stroll in Pristina is always been a good idea. It is lively, full of people, and they party all night and no signs of slowing down. After one hour of roaming around the city, we are so tired and weary from our travels. Perhaps a massage will cure our aching body. We found a place called Siam Siam as we could hear the thumping techno music in the distance. A good thing the ladies speak English and will give you all the information of kind of massages you wanted and the rates per hour. Makoy had the traditional Thai massage for one hour and it cost 30 euros while me i had the combination of swedish and deep tissue massage to help restore my flexibility my massage focuses on the remedial massage with stretching and additional attention on joints the spine and the general alignment of the body exactly the best massage we had here in Kosovo. I can definitely recommend it. Thank you for the good massage. That is my birthday gift to you. <laughs> Going back to our hotel, we wanted to take a photo with the most famous city monument, giant letters, newborn. There is an expression in Hebrew, Medina Baderik, which means a young country. In Kosovo, you have a chance to witness how a new country is being born. Kosovo declared independence in 2008 and its status is still uh, questioned. One of the highlights here in Kosovo is the newborn monument. On February 17, 2008, Kosovo declared its independence. On the same day, the city officials unveiled the newborn monument. So what is the best thing to do here is to take a photo with the most famous city monument, newborn, celebrating the creation of the state of Kosovo. Local artists repaint and redesign the letter every several months. And that is something to be proud of, being Kosovo. So if you're going to ask me if Kosovo is worth visiting, definitely yes. First of all, even though it doesn't have a lot of tourist destination, but its authenticity is something to be proud and boast of. I really enjoyed my stay here because the locals are so friendly and hospitable. Some of them knows English very well and you cannot get lost here. And one of the biggest factors is that it is cheaper here than any other countries in terms of accommodation, food, tours, and parties. Yeah. Yeah.